the flock is going on and welcome to FPL today and this team selection video for game week two with game week one just behind us and apologies for this video being late but as you can tell probably from my voice I did come down with a bit of an illness Sunday night which stopped me getting this video to you that's what a bad game week could do to you literally game week one somehow gave me a fever that's how bad my game week one was as you can see with what is happening in my ranking on the side of me but before we get into how bad my game week one was and what we're planning to do moving forward here's a quick video from sponsors of this channel for this first four game weeks manscaped support for fpl today is brought to you by manscaped who is the best in men's below the waist grooming their products are precision engineered tools for your family jewels manscaped's performance package the ultimate men's hygiene bundle join over six million men worldwide who have trusted manscaped with this exclusive offer for you 20 percent off and free worldwide shipping with the code FPL today at manscaped.com. If my math is correct, that's about 12 million balls. Inside this package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0, trimmer, weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver, ball deodorant, and a crop reviver toner, as well as their performance boxer briefs and a travel bag to hold all of your goodies. Their fourth generation trimmer featuring a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. Their lawnmower 4.0 is also waterproof and also has a 400K LED spotlight that you need for a more precise shave. And what I will say about this product is I have used it and there is literally no chance of any cuts. And trust me, I've cut some risky areas before and it's not pleasant. So with this, it won't happen to you. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts with their Performance Package 4.0 Manscaped boxes and the Shed Travel Bag. Bring your comfort and boxes to another level. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code FPL today at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code FPL today. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. So thank you to Manscaped so much for sponsoring this channel. Their support is appreciated. And if you want to support us here on FPL today, do go check out Manscaped. It will really help the channel out. And let's get on to our team selection. So let's peel that plaster off. Let's get this over with. We managed to get 51 points, which sees us have a rank that is not too impressive for a content creator. Let's be honest. Overall rank of 5.3 million. Let's not go into the thousands because it's already bad enough. But that is out of a total of 8 million players. I'm trying to make this sound better. It's just not going to, is it? But it is only game week one and things can drastically change in these early game weeks. And that's what I'm seriously hoping for. As you can see, we didn't have many returns. We had Cancelo come in with a clean sheet. That's fantastic. But lots of people had a Man City defender, so that didn't really help us. We also had Mohamed Salah with the Capsi man getting 24 points with his goal and assist in a game where Liverpool didn't beat Fulham, which meant, of course, Robertson and Trent conceding two goals apiece, got one point each, as did Digne. We did go Aston Villa heavy and they somehow lost to Bournemouth. Yep, I really went in on some fixtures and it really didn't pay off. However, I did spend all of Friday night, and yes, I know I got the deadline wrong in the previous video. I did spend all of Friday night thinking I had Saka and didn't have Martinelli, so I was annoyed when I thought that Martinelli scored and Saka got an assist, and I picked the wrong Arsenal player. Turns out I didn't pick the wrong Arsenal player, I did get Martinelli in, I somehow changed Digne in, and changed Colback for Neto, I believe, and had the money aside to upgrade Martinelli to Saka, and then for some reason didn't do it. So you know what, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and those two points really mean something when you're languishing in the 5.3 million range. And then up front, complete blanks across the board. Watkins didn't even start, which, uh, yeah, some of you told me in the comments, so fair enough. But Jesus and Kane not getting any returns, while, of course, the player I want in, Erling Haaland for game week two because of Bournemouth, of course, he went and scored two against West Ham when I thought West Ham would be a bit more defensively solid. So, so some decisions didn't go my way. Even my bench keeper scored more points than my starting keeper. And that is how we end up with such a disappointing rank. So what's the move for the next game weeks? As you can see, we have a pretty standard lineup, the same lineup as last week with Sanchez with Newcastle at home, 
We've got Trent and Robertson with Salah with Crystal Palace at home. Everton is the fixture for my Aston Villa boys of Digne, Bailey and Watkins. Cancelo with Bournemouth at home. And then we've got Martinelli and Jesus with Leicester at home and Kane with Chelsea away. And to be honest, the plan was always for Kane to be transferred out for Erling Haaland. So that is the move we will be making. The bench isn't amazingly strong, but they're all starters from what I can tell. Bit disappointed that I didn't bring in De Silva because it looks like he played a decent part of Brentford's game in game week one. So down the line, De Silva may come in instead of the likes of Colback. We do have the wild card if this keeps going on the trajectory we're going on and it's not a great start to the season we will probably play our wild card in game week four if we think we really need a reset the plan was always game week eight but we may have to move it to game week four if we don't have a good game week two and three so guys have a laugh at me go on go for it in the comments down below or just give me some constructive criticism and let me know what you think i should do with this side because of course I can't just change it all up like we could in pre-season. Next week, we will get a team selection video out, but it may not have my points. I will try and do a community post where I update you on how I did in game week two, but I am on holiday with the kids for all the build up to game week three. So there will be a video, but it will mainly just be my team selection and potential transfers before I've even seen game week two. So I'll probably have a chat with as many of you in the comments as possible for that video just so you can have a better idea of what I'm actually doing and an update with the community post tab. So do check out that stuff and subscribe to this channel as well as hitting that like button. And also check out manscaped.com if you want to support the channel and you want to look after your balls better than some teams did in game week one. And with all that being said, I've been JNO. This has been FPL Today. Remember, it's all about the game.